Well, hi everybody, it's Sandy, and I'm here with a Magical Monday-ish video. I don't usually voice these over, but I'm gonna voice over the card making portions. I'm gonna use a die set from Ellen Hudson. It's the mini windows to make a freezer to hold my new ice cream stamps from Lawn Fawn, and it's gonna be really fun. You're gonna enjoy this. So I'm gonna tape it down to my Nina cardstock using this delicate frog tape. This stuff does not tear your paper which makes me very happy. And of course it's yellow, so of course it's gonna work well. This is a practice die that I had done just because I wanted to have one to make sure that my ice cream fits into the freezer window that I'm gonna create. And I'm using my Misty to do the stamping. The Misty is a stamping tool. You'll see a little bit about how it works. But I'm stacking up my ice cream and its lid because the lid is off in the stamp set. So I wanted to put it on in the freezer because freezer burn is a thing. But I'm also gonna put some meats in there and I'm not gonna worry about freezer burn on them because there's no packaging. I just wanted to have some other items and I'm gonna take the stamps out and kind of just generally place them to make sure that I have room for everything in that little window. So the one that's underneath there that I'm placing these onto is the one that's gonna be the card front, but I'm placing it there so that I know where my stamping's gonna happen and make sure I get it in the right place on this piece of flat Nina that I'm gonna actually color on. So there is the first piece that is the lid and I'm going to stamp it also onto a piece of post-it tape so I can cut out a little mask and I'm going to put the mask into the stamp pocket that I store my stamps in. And there will be links to that as well as all the products in this video. And here we have the steak and there's the ice cream. I'm just masking everything from the front to the back and stamping the ones in the back last so that I can have all these things built up into a little scene. I'm using the gumball set because it has the eyeballs on it and I wanted fun eyeballs on this one. There is a set of eyeballs that comes with the ice cream set, but this one has glasses and it's hilarious. So I thought I would use that one on this ice cream. So there's the portion that's gonna go in the freezer. Now on the inside of the card, I wanted my sentiment to be on straight and I'm notorious for putting them on crooked last. So I'm gonna do it first, and I can use the grid on the Misty to line it up on the inside of the card base. And then again, I'm gonna do my masking and my stamping from front to back. So I wanted the lid to be tilting against the ice cream container. So I will mask it out. And then when I stamp the ice cream along with it, then that part is gonna be masked out. And that little corner is gonna look like it's in front of the ice cream. I know lots of people have trouble with masking and mentally figuring out what goes in front of what, so hopefully this will be a tip that you can use when you get this ice cream set and make your make your little lid hang out like that. So I stamp my little spoon on there and we're ready to start the coloring. I'm going to pencil in the outline of the windows from my test window just to make sure that I get it in the right spot and that the coloring goes far enough outside that window in the freezer. So now I'm going to turn on some music and let you just watch the coloring and I'll be back for a couple of interludes.
Now it's time to do the kitchen and to draw that freezer in there. So I want to show you one of the tools and explain a little bit about it. It's a sailing tool that I used to use when I sailed and it's a ruler that has rollers on it. So you can roll it down the paper and get everything straight across it. So I'll do some lines in pencil and then some lines with my various Copic markers in order to draw the freezer and create that in place. And let's get back to coloring. Well, now that all the magical coloring is done, it's time to do the magical card assembly. And I'm using a stamp runner to attach my front to that piece everywhere except for the little windows of the freezer. And I'll have to just place it over top and I can line it up wherever I want. Now that ice cream does look a little big for the proportions of it, but ice cream should be big, right? That's like a 10 gallon jug of ice cream. And why not have it, right? Because if you're gonna send somebody a card that says treat yourself, they might as well really seriously treat themselves with a lot of ice cream. <laughs> so I'm gonna take the card base that I've already colored the inside of, which the inside would actually make a nice outside anyway, and attach that on and people can open it up and see the little ice cream in the freezer and then they open the card and get the message. I think it came out really fun. You know, it's really fun when a stamp set just talks to you and says, this is what I want you to do with me. And it just makes me happy because it feels like the stamps are living out the destiny when I can hear what they have to say. And I know people say that they don't hear stamps talk to them. Maybe I'm just weird, but I, I do. I listen to the stamps and I ask them what their circumstances are. Where are they? What are they doing? And who is this card going to be for? And what are they going to get out of it? And usually some kind of a crazy idea pops up. So here are a couple other Lawn Fawn cards that I have done in the past. And they're actually both Copic, even though you see brushes on the left one. That's a watercolor technique with Copic markers. And I will talk to you guys later. I hope you have a wonderful day. And we'll see you next time. Thanks. Bye-bye.